hi there everyone in the first part of this video what uh, we did was we made a api call uh, from postman and we triggered a journey uh, through the fire entry event api okay so in this part uh, we will uh, do the same but using a cloud page and some ssjs code okay but before we dive into that just a quick recap of what we did was we created a journey okay with an api event and uh, once we created the event uh, okay uh, we created a data extension where the our data will enter and also we created a email at email okay where the email uh, which the email we want to send okay so once we have all those in place uh, the journey should look somewhat like this okay so now in the journey in the journey uh, we have all these things set up okay so once this was done now how would we trigger the journey so we had to go to setup okay under setup okay so uh, we created a installed package and there we provided these details and uh, created uh, the package as api integration and server to server and here uh, we selected all the options which would be required and once all the things were in place uh, we got our client id and client secret okay and using that client id and client secret what we did was we made an api call to v2 slash token in order to get our access token so we made the api call using our client id client secret account id is nothing but mid of the business unit and we uh, send this request we got a response the response looked somewhat like this response one okay where we got our access token okay and uh, it has some expiration details the rest instance url the soap instance url all those things we received and then we went ahead and made our next call uh, which is to the endpoint interaction slash v1 slash events okay and uh, here we while we made this call we passed the email address uh, uh, replicating for example the person who is registering uh, for the first time to our newsletter okay so uh, the email address and the event definition key is the key which we receive for the particular journey whose entry event we created as an api okay so uh, and the data we are passing is uh, here is uh, nothing but the details of that data extension which is the email and the name of that person okay so uh, these are the two fields in our data extension so we included that in the data and once we make the call we got our record inside the data extension now uh, we made this call using postman in the earlier part now we will have a code walkthrough of the ssjs code uh, which uh, we use uh, in order to send uh, this uh, uh, instead of using postman because in most of the time right uh, it will be a, uh, there will be a form someone registers to the form and then that person enters into a particular journey so we won't uh, want that to happen through postman right so for that we have ssjs code so we have a form okay let's say we have a form in another page and the, when the form is submitted the method is post and uh, 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 in the first form we have method post action is uh, let's say to thank you page and in the thank you page we have this piece of code okay and in the in this code what we have okay so in the first page we just have a form and uh, in the form we have uh, input type field with email address and uh, when we submit that form in the second for uh, second page which is the thank you page we are request dot get query string parameter and we are getting the email address okay and we are uh, uh, this is uh, nothing but the server side javascript code where we have our authentication endpoint okay the authentication endpoint and uh, we have the payload okay so the payload we are passing the client id and client secret and uh, we are passing this and we are getting our uh, we are getting our response okay so we are making a http 
dot post and here we are passing our url url is the authentic uh, b2 uh, authentication url slash b2 slash token and uh, the content type is application json and uh, the payload we are passing is the client id client secret okay by the way uh, i uh, this code is here in this uh, website okay so uh, i think we have to add here uh, some this one okay uh, uh, i think this account uh, url i think this uh, also will be required so okay once you have this okay you just uh, what you do is uh, what you do is you uh, make this call okay so it, this is the first call where we are basically passing the client id client secret and also uh, the mid over here and uh, uh, we once we pass that we hit the url uh, we get uh, the re uh, response back okay we uh, uh, parse through our json which we received just now okay in order to get our access token okay so in order to get our access token so once we have that access token okay and the rest url okay which are the two things we should be receiving so rest instance url and the access token so once we have the, uh, those things we will make uh, this is the second part of the call okay and in this call uh, we are actually have we have to if you remember using postman when we made this call we had authorization and beer and, and we passed the token so similar thing we have to do over here so here we have uh, authorization bearer and access token which is the header okay and we have the body which is the uh, nothing but the postman we had this body so this is the body okay so json body we have okay the contact key the event definition key and the data okay and we are doing the rest uh, endpoint we are hitting uh, with slash interaction slash v1 slash event which is our second call okay so interaction slash v1 slash event and once we hit that uh, and we get a response of this as success okay which means uh, our uh, uh, the data entered the journey okay so http post we are giving our request url and we are passing the content type and uh, the json body we are stringing -fying the json body before we pass it in http post okay and header name and header value and once we get a success which means uh, our data is now inside the journey okay so uh, this is basically it so basically uh, now coming to this code okay it's in this website which is sfmarketing.cloud here also you will find this code and in mscript.xyz here also we uh, find this code okay so uh, if i come to this code uh, okay so uh, pretty much it's uh, uh, the uh, idea is similar where we initially make uh, the uh, call okay to the authorization endpoint with the payload okay and we get the access token okay we get the access token and with that access token what we do is we make another call so here we are passing the access token and uh, we are getting the we are getting the uh, uh, we are hitting actually the HTTP post we are hitting the rest instance URL and we are getting a status code if it's success or not okay and again looking into this code okay which is in this website amscript.xyg here also uh, okay uh, they have used something called function okay just to modularize the code so you get the access token okay so function get token here what they did is uh, first they are getting the token okay so this function is nothing but doing is but uh, 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 getting the code okay so what setup does is setup has 
setup has the authentication url rest url client id client secret and event definition key all in one variable which is good okay and uh, uh, we are also getting the data from the form okay all that is being stored in another variable okay so i feel this this one was more structured uh, uh, in terms of they modularize the code uh, but uh, it does the same thing okay it does the same thing in both the cases and uh, this is easier to understand and this one is uh, a bit more uh, actually uh, once you are familiar with the basics uh, i think uh, you can modularize your code and structure your code and all those so uh, here uh, they made this call using http post and uh, they got this response which is the access token okay so then in another function what they did is trigger event okay and they pass the token and all the details url and client id secret and all those and here uh, they are actually preparing the second part of the thing which is actually you have, you have to call the interaction slash v1 slash event with content type application json authorization bearer token and you are preparing the payload which you want to send so contact key event definition key and this so once this is done basically what they are this is the payload okay so this is the payload okay this is the content type this is the header this is the header value this is the url rest url they are making this second call okay so config dot url config dot content type stringify config dot payload config dot header name header value and they are making this second call and uh, they uh, if it's a uh, 201 which means it's a success and then uh, the data has entered basically in the journey so that's it uh, here it's the full code okay basically the uh, of whatever uh, we explained so far so basically we can just quickly recap so they have this uh, variables where they are getting the variable dot get value they are getting the data from uh, the uh, request parameter it has to be request parameter uh, in m script they are getting the data in a subscriber key variable and then from there they are getting it inside the server side javascript and uh, okay and once this is available they have this setup uh, where we have all the uh, urls authentication url rest url client id client secret uh, event definition key all those and we are first uh, in a uh, we are first getting the token once the token is there uh, we are actually now calling okay so if token if uh, token is there okay if token is true means the token is available okay if token uh, is there then they are calling trigger event which is the uh, to trigger it in the journey okay so if it's a success then subscriber was successfully injected into the journey if it did not uh, success right so fail to inject the subscriber into the journey okay so now this one was the calling part okay uh, this one was the calling part so this part is used to call basically the two functions first is to get the token and then if the token exists basically then uh, they are calling the journey function okay and here we have the function where get token here we are in the get token uh, we are having the authentication we are getting the token okay and once we have the token we are actually making the second call to interaction slash v1 slash events and uh, with the payload uh, we are passing the payload and we are getting the response okay uh, we are uh, here we are uh, here is the payload and all is uh, this is all what will be required to make the second call okay so uh, here we have rest url content type header bearer and payload and we are making the second call so when they are telling config.url basically they are telling that this is the javascript object we want to grab this particular rest endpoint okay that's it 
okay so they are getting this url the content type the payload the header the header value and uh, then uh, basically once the http post request is made if it's a success okay then we are getting a 201 and then in that case they are getting the response and uh, basically they are returning true means it's a successful request else it's returning false and uh, here what they are checking is uh, if this is success okay if this is success so if this uh, has returned a true value then sub subscriber was successfully injected into the journey and else failed to inject the subscriber into the journey okay so they made this inside a try catch block and that's it uh, uh, so hope you like this video and uh, found it useful so the full code will be available to these two urls one is sf marketing cloud uh, which is a very good blog okay uh, with a lot of information okay so it's maintained by i think this person okay zuzuna okay so you can check this url and also uh, the other i found this uh, blog also very useful so you can check this out as well okay so hope you like this video so thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video so thanks again bye